Chandels are practiced in order to develop the pilot's coordination, orientation, planning, and feel for maximum performance flight and to develop positive control techniques at varying airspeeds and attitudes. The maneuver can be described as a climbing turn beginning from approximately straight and level flight and ending at the completion of a 180 degree turn in a wings level, nose high attitude in an airspeed just above stall speed. Prior to starting the maneuver, select an entry altitude that will allow the recovery to be completed no lower than the minimum recovery altitude of 1500 feet AGL for dual flights and 2000 AGL for solo flights. Make applicable practice area radio calls and complete a comprehensive scan of the practice area by doing two complete 90 degree clearing turns. Take note, because of the 180 degree climbing turn, also make sure that you verify that the area behind you and above you is also clear of traffic. For the Chandel, we will use the B-GUMP acronym for configuring the aircraft. Boost pump will be off, gas will be to the fullest tank, undercarriage will be up, mixture is rich, and the propeller should be set to high RPM. Finally, take care to adjust the airspeed to a trimmed and stabilized 110 knots of airspeed before beginning the first turn. The Shendell maneuver can easily be defined by breaking up the 180 degree turn into two halves or two 90 degree sections. The first 90 degrees is comprised of the roll-in leading to a changing pitch and constant bank relationship. The second 90 degrees of turn uses a constant pitch but changing bank angle to lead to a rollout at 180 degrees at the highest altitude and lowest airspeed. This airspeed is defined as MCA or minimum controllable airspeed which is just slightly above the aircraft's stall speed. Before rolling in, Take note of your present heading and try to align it with a good outside visual reference. In this case, for a 180 degree turn, a cardinal heading aligned with a road will work great as a reference for marking the start and finish of the turn. As you begin the roll-in, add aileron and rudder pressure to allow for a coordinated roll to 30 degrees of bank. As you reach 30 degrees of bank, simultaneously apply full power and gradually increase pitch to maintain a smooth, coordinated climbing turn to the 90 degree point with a constant bank angle. Make sure that you cross check your instruments with outside references and verify that the bank is constant and pitch is smoothly increasing during this first half of the 180 degree turn. When performed properly, the arrow will normally be right around 85 knots as the first 90 degree section is completed. This airspeed is approximately halfway between your entry airspeed and your final speed just above stall. After completion of the first 90 degree section, begin a smooth constant rate rollout while maintaining a constant pitch attitude. It is during the second section of turn that the pilot will commonly fail to maintain a constant pitch attitude. Use your attitude indicator to help maintain a maximum pitch up attitude and avoid letting the nose become sluggish as airspeed decreases. As airspeed slows, more back pressure will be required to maintain the exact same maximum pitch up attitude. Also, bank angles should constantly be decreasing as you roll out to your 180 degree reference. Don't feel as though the second half of this turn needs to be rushed. As you roll out at the 180 degree point, airspeed should be just above stall, noted by the stall warning horn, and pitch attitude should still be relatively high. When rolling out from a left chandelle, a very significant amount of right rudder pressure will be required to maintain coordination. This is due to the decreased airflow over the rudder and increased left turning tendencies created as a result from the maximum power setting and high pitch attitude. Also, as you roll out from the left chandelle, the left aileron will have to be lowered to raise the wing and will create drag and therefore a yaw force to the left. In contrast, when rolling out from a chandelle to the right, induced drag from the lowered right aileron and left turning tendencies will, in effect, cancel each other out. Therefore, much less rudder pressure is required to maintain coordination in a chandelle to the right. During recovery, the pilot should resume straight and level flight with a minimum loss of altitude. 
This is accomplished by slowly releasing back pressure as the airspeed builds while maintaining the final rollout heading. If properly performed, very little or no altitude should be lost during the recovery. In the Aero, we will be adhering to the commercial PTS standards. The PTS requires that the pilot establish a bank of approximately 30 degrees at the beginning of the maneuver, rolls out plus or minus 10 degrees of the 180 degree rollout heading, and at an airspeed just above stall while maintaining that airspeed briefly, avoiding a stall, and finally resumes straight and level cruise flight with minimum loss of altitude. For further information on Chandel's, don't forget to reference the Airplane Flying Handbook Chapter 9 and the UND Aero Standardization Manual Chapter 3. Have fun and fly safe!